there are three types of inputs, lists, checkboxes, and configuration variables. A list enables you to select the input parameter through a pull-down. Create a list input when there are several established options to choose. In this example, I configure the location of the port in this pneumatic cylinder with a list. The port can only exist in four different locations chosen from the pull-down. A checkbox enables you to check or clear the configured parameters. Utilize the checkbox input type to turn the configured parameters on or off. A checkbox is created in this example to determine the blind cap shape as flat or not. A configuration variable displays a field to type a value to define the configured parameter. Create a configuration variable if a user should be able to key in a value. Note that you can also set a range for this value. In this example, a user can type a value to specify the bore, stroke, and hole size. The variable input type is taught in depth in the advanced configuration course. You can use one table to configure several design parameters that are dependent on each other, including dimensions, suppression state, end types, and several others. Utilizing a single table is almost identical to configuration workflows in old CAD systems. Adding a new configuration input creates a new table. Each table configures inputs independently of one another, potentially replacing a large table consisting of hundreds or thousands of rows with a few small tables. Working with multiple input tables will be explained in a future video.